Are you looking to break into high paying jobs without a traditional degree? Well, the Google Career Certificates might be your answer. These programs are opening doors for many, but are they right for you? Let's explore some of the real success stories. Meet John. He completed multiple Google certificates in just one year, including the IT support and cybersecurity certificates. And he's now using these newfound skills in a part-time AI training role. Then there's Cajun. He finished the project management certificate in five months, and he reports it's been significantly helpful in his current work. And these stories and many more, for instance, countless amounts of comments on my channel show the potential of the Google career certificates. But what's the full picture? Are they truly a fast track to a high paying career or a tech career? Or is there more to consider? Well, let's break it all down. The pros, the cons, and strategies to make the most out of these certificates. Ready to dive in? Let's go. First of all, what are the Google career certificates exactly? Let's start with the basics. The Google career certificates are online training programs designed to prepare you for in-demand jobs, mostly in the tech industry. And they cover fields like IT support, data analytics, project management, and UX design. And for most of them, they say you can complete them within six months with no required degree or experience required. Sounds pretty sweet, right? Now you might be thinking, Shane, this kind of sounds too good to be true. And you're right to be skeptical. I've been there. For instance, I went through an entire undergrad program and doctoral program in order to land a good job. And the reason I did that is because I thought that I had to. But here's the thing, just like college, the Google certificates aren't a guaranteed golden ticket. They're a tool and how you use that tool makes all the difference. And just as I turned my pharmacy knowledge into a lucrative career, you can transform this video's insights into your career breakthrough as well. Now let's talk about the pros of the Google Career Certificates. These certificates have some serious perks. First of all, they're cost effective. They only cost about $49 per month, so they're way cheaper than a college degree. And by the way, you can check them out. I'll put a link in the description in the pinned comment below. Because in some countries they're cheaper and they also offer scholarships in many cases, so, so click the link below to check that out. But they also offer flexible learning. So you get to study at your own pace, remotely, so it's perfect for busy adults. And they teach you practical skills. The curriculum is designed with input from actual employers who are having trouble finding people with these different skill sets. Whereas in many cases, college degrees, for instance, will teach you skills that are probably indirectly really valuable, but in many cases, they're not practical. AKA, they aren't necessarily going to help you get a job or do a good job once you do get a job. Also, they have Google's stamp of approval. And let's face it, having Google on your resume looks pretty good. But you also get job search support. Google offers resume building help and connects you with with employers. And while these perks are impressive on paper, the real magic happens when you apply them to the rapidly evolving job market. And this reminds me of a mind-blowing encounter that I had while I was actually going through my doctoral program to become a pharmacist. I was at this cafe studying my life away for one of the millions of tests that I had to take for pharmacy school. And I kept on seeing this guy over and over again whenever I'd go, who'd sit in the corner and he would be on his laptop and it had this weird device that looked like bull's horns sticking out of it. And eventually after seeing each other enough times, we started talking and it turns out he was earning about $20,000 per month working remotely, and he only had to work about 10 hours per week. And he told me that he never even had to go to college to learn these skills. And here I was studying 80 hours a week, spending the best years of my life getting a doctoral degree. And I was doing that so that I could get a job where I was making 10K per month and probably work 40 to 60 hours per week. So he was making twice as much as I was gonna make, and he was able to work remote, and he only had to work about 10 hours per week. That blew my mind, and it completely changed my perspective on career potential. And these Google certificates are trying to do something similar. They give you the skills to tap into high paying jobs. All right, so time for some real talk because these certificates aren't all sunshine and rainbows. Here's a few caveats. One, there's no guaranteed job. Despite the hype, Google doesn't promise employment. They don't guarantee that you're going to get a job. But to be fair, neither does college or basically any other type of educational institute. Two, competition is fierce. Lots of people are also trying to get these certificates and land jobs as well. Three, employers might still prefer degrees. Some companies, unfortunately, are stuck in the mud and they're slow to embrace new credentials. Four, there's a limited scope. The certificates cover specific roles, not broad fields. And five, there's a lot of self-motivation that's required. Online learning isn't for everyone. You have to keep yourself motivated, you have to constantly be learning, and you have to be very self-guided and self-directed in order to get a job without going through traditional education. And also keep in mind to think of these certificates as a starting point, not an end goal. Now, you might be wondering, Shane, how do I stand out with all this competition? Great question. While Google certificates can give you the skills, landing a job requires more than just knowledge. It's about presenting yourself as the ideal candidate. So I've created a guide to help you stand out. It's packed with tips for landing remote jobs and crafting a killer resume. It's the absolute top tier information out there that you usually have to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars to access, and I've made it completely free. So click the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to check it out. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. What do employers actually think about these certificates? And the truth is, it varies. Some companies, especially tech forward ones, 
are embracing them. Others are more skeptical, preferring traditional degrees or extensive experience. But fear not, I've researched so you don't have to. According to this hiring manager, Google career certificates can help individuals land entry-level jobs in high demand fields, but they're not a guarantee of employment. Although it does offer foundational knowledge, relevant work experience, and networking opportunities. However, you can treat these certificates as a complementary asset to your existing skills or experience. So another way of saying this is these certificates on their own are very likely not going to get you a job. However, these certificates will help you to get a job, but you're also going to have to create a portfolio, make sure you brush up on your skills, put yourself out there and interview well. But just as an example, Alina took the UX design certificate and she was able to land a job at eBay, but she stresses that the certificate isn't a job guarantee, highlighting the need for a strong portfolio and hands-on experience to secure a UI UX design position. And this is especially important for UI UX design, considering design is something that's very visual and subjective. Ben, a George Mason University senior, completed the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, which covers IT fundamentals and security, and combined with his customer service experience and internships, the certificate made Ben a strong candidate, which led to him securing two full-time cybersecurity job offers. But again, it wasn't just a certificate on its own. The certificate was an amazing starting point, an amazing base, and it was incredibly affordable compared to just about any other way of getting educated out there, but it on its own wasn't enough. He also had to have some customer support experience and he had to land an internship. Now, Ben and Alina's success stories illustrate a crucial point about these certificates. It's not about the credential itself, but how you combine it with your existing skills, your experiences, and your overall job search strategy. And the key is to leverage these certificates as a part of that broader strategy. Now we're getting to the heart of the matter. If you decide to pursue a Google career certificate, here's how to squeeze every drop of value from it. First of all, choose the right certificate. Pick a field you're genuinely interested in. And to start, here's some popular ones. The Google IT Support Professional Certificate. This offers comprehensive training in IT fundamentals, aiming to prepare learners for entry-level roles with its accessible and informative content. The Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. This one equips learners with in-demand skills for junior data analyst roles, covering data cleaning, analysis, and visualization using industry standard tools. The Google Project Management Certificate. This one equips learners with technical and soft skills for entry-level project management roles across industries, and it offers engaging content from experienced instructors. Typically, this is not going to be for someone who is seeking an entry-level job, but rather someone who's already been working in companies and they want to get into a project management role. Now, one of the greatest things about signing up to Coursera is you kind of get to dip your toe in a bunch of these different careers without having to pay an arm and a leg. And what I mean by that is these certificates will teach you the skills that you actually need to know and you will actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. And so when you take these certificates, you're going to get a really good idea of what you're going to be doing in the actual job. And so I recommend, unless you're 100% certain which job you want, you should actually just take a few of them, maybe take the first module, for instance, dip your toe in, and then decide which one appeals to you the most. And then you finish the full certificate. And by the way, these certificates don't take six months to complete. Whenever they say six months, what they actually mean is usually anywhere from two weeks to two months. And by the way, I highly recommend that you supplement your learning. Use free resources like YouTube or Khan Academy or my channel and apply your skills to real world projects and start building a portfolio. Also, network like crazy. Join online communities, attend virtual meetups, and connect with professionals. And then also a very important thing is to showcase your certificate and your projects on your profile through LinkedIn. Many people have actually reported to me, even in comments on my channel, that they were actually found by recruiters from listing these Google certificates on their LinkedIn. And another thing, and this is kind of obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyways, be prepared to start at an entry level. When you look up the pay for these different careers, it's usually the median pay. Your entry level pay is going to be quite a bit lower usually. So use the certificate as a launch pad, not a shortcut. Consider it a stepping stone. Use it to discover if you really enjoy the field before committing to a degree or going into a career that you might hate. Now let's zoom out a bit and talk about some of the top alternatives to these certificates. For one, boot camps. These are more intensive, significantly more expensive, but they often do have better job placement services. I mean, think about it. Coursera obviously can't afford to have job placement services when you're only paying like $40 a month. However, boot camps, like I said, are incredibly expensive and they also take a long time to get through usually. The next one is Coursera specializations. And these are similar to Google's offerings, but they're usually from other types of companies or various different universities. However, many of them have really good ratings online as well. And you can check those out with the link down in the description in the pinned comment below. Another one is Udacity Nano Degrees. These are more tech focused with a project based approach and they're more expensive, but they also have pretty good ratings. And then another one is just simply self directed learning. So you can craft your own curriculum using free online resources. Now this would require you to be even more self motivated and self driven, and it would require a lot of resourcefulness, but it is a viable option. And then of course, there's traditional degrees. 
Many of these are still valuable, especially for more specialized or regulated fields. However, for many of them, the value of them is questionable. And then there's some of them where they're just downright scams. So make sure you do your research if you're going to spend six figures on a college degree. Then you've got apprenticeships. These are where you get to learn on the job and you get paid while doing it. I think these are awesome. The only problem is there's just not that many that are offered. Now, remember, there's no one size fits all solution. And all of these are different tools. If you need to hammer in a nail, then the hammer would probably be the best tool. And if you need to screw in a screw, then a screwdriver would likely be the best tool. And so there is no one size fits all solution. Depending on your situation, one of these tools is likely going to be the best option for you. But one of the things that's really great about Coursera is like I said before, you get to dip your toe in without spending that much of your time, effort, and money, which means you can do Coursera in conjunction with any of these different tools. And you're not going to be risking all that much. And it could mean learning new skills and approaches not just doing more of the same. And the truth is your career journey might take unexpected turns and that's okay. The key is to stay flexible, keep learning and always be on the lookout for opportunities. So overall, as long as you have the right expectations going in and getting these certificates and you don't think that there's some kind of magical bullet where you just spend $40 and you get $100,000 a year career in one month, which surprisingly some people actually believe that, which is a little bit mind blowing. As long as you're not in that camp, then I highly doubt you're gonna regret uh, taking these certificates. Because like I said, they're very affordable. They have incredible ratings and feedback online. Even Reddit, which is like the most negative place in the world, they just like think everything is a scam apparently on Reddit. Almost all of the Reddit posts I see about the Google Career Certificates are positive. So yeah, I think the Google Career Certificates are great as long as you have realistic expectations and you go into them with the right mindset. And if you wanna check out my Google Certificate tier list where I rank them from the best certificate to the worst one, you can check that out by clicking right here.